We take note of a retirement, a baker who parlayed a temporary two-week job into a lifelong career. You don't do something for 50 years without being the cream of the crop. Neil Karlinski reports from Seattle. In 1959, Bonanza was the big show on TV. Eisenhower was president, and Joe Traxler began his first day of work making Twinkies at this bakery. 50 years later, the same Seattle bakery is still pumping out Twinkies, and so is Joe Traxler. I've always liked Twinkies. I always have. I, I always will. It's the way it is. I'm going to eat Twinkies for the rest of my life. He never could have predicted his life would end up inextricably linked to the Twinkie when he started what was supposed to be a two-week part-time job a half century ago. Yahoo! It's Twinkie the King! His job was to mix the batter, and he liked it. He liked the job security, too. Plus, he really likes Twinkies, a product he takes great pride in. Today I make a Twinkie, and tomorrow you want the same Twinkie. So you, you have a recipe, and you adhere to it. To say Joe has made a lot of Twinkies is an understatement. People here figure he's made more than a billion Twinkies over the course of his career. 19-year dough-mixing veteran Dwight Mahoney has been chosen to inherit Joe's coveted slot. How can I compete with Joe? He's, he's an icon. It turns out of all the sweets rolling down the line here, Twinkies are his second love. His top favorite, which, by the way, is also the nickname given to him by his wife, is the Ding Dong. That good filling. Very good. Even after five decades, the repetition never got to him. He loved this place. Work isn't so hard, he says, mm. when you're doing what you love. Very good. Neil Karlinski, ABC News, mm. Seattle.